No, it's 5.58. Yep, we're on. And the Facebook Live's coming. Rhonda, you need to mute. Rhonda, you need to mute. Carry muter. Hello, I think that we are live now and welcome. I hope everybody's having a wonderful evening. Welcome to a little break from our daily strangeness right now to take a virtual wander around some of Westport's local businesses. We have a spot of entertainment, including some live music, a cooking demo from Matt Storch, and most importantly, virtual shopping. I will confess, shopping has always been my favourite sport. In fact, it's probably the only sport I've ever been any good at. And I have to say, I really miss shopping. Of course, I miss my friends more than anything. And I miss going to restaurants, which is strange because when I had the opportunity, I always wanted to stay home. Um, but what I really miss is wandering around my favourite stores. So tonight, I'm very much looking forward to finding some new favourite stores. I'm particularly looking forward to seeing what I can't live without from interstate lumber. Um, although, actually, I'll be honest with you, I do have an outdoor coffee table from Restoration Hardware, I can say their name now because they're no longer in town, which has rotted through completely. So I am actually quite interested in the lumber. Um, next time I am asking for, can we please have people who sell caftans, giant earrings and virtual housekeepers. Um, and on that note, I will pass you over for a wonderful evening, a giant thank you from my not very clean house to the Westport Western Chamber of Commerce. Here's to supporting our local retailers. Happy shopping and cheers. Well, thank you, Jane Green, for that wonderful introduction and welcome to Zoom Westport Retail. This will be an hour long presentation, be fun and informative. But first we must realize we're in the middle of a health crisis and our hearts go out to those who've been affected by this virus, families and friends. And also a big hat tip to the first responders who are out there almost risking their lives essentially to make sure that we're safe and taken care of. But during this pandemic, there has been an economic impact and we're working to see if we can right the ship and move us forward to the new normal. This project tonight is a collaboration from Westport Front Porch that's streaming it live on Facebook Live. I'd like to make a big thank you to the town of Westport. There is no other bigger collaborator with the chamber than the than the town of Westport. And we thank the first selectman, Jim Marpy, who's doing a wonderful job of guiding us through this pandemic in the town for allowing us to present this 
on channel 79. And our biggest collaborator, of course, is the Westport Library. We've done a number of things with them, and they're working with us hand in hand to make sure that this works. And I wanted to introduce the executive director of the library for an introduction of his own. So Bill Harmer, here we go. Well, I thank you, Matthew. Uh, good evening, friends. I'm Bill Harmer, executive director of the Westport Library. We are, of course, delighted to be partnering with Matthew Mendel and our good friends of the Chamber of Commerce to bring you tonight's program. I wanna thank everyone for the strong showing and really appreciate your taking time to participate. While the library building may be temporarily closed for business, I can assure you that the library continues to be open 24 seven. We have been focusing our energy on finding new creative and dynamic ways to continue serving the community. We've created a robust suite of services and resources, including downloadable eBooks and audiobooks, movies and TV shows. Parents and children have found inspiration through our uh, streaming services and our daily story time programs are providing a respite for weary parents and encouraging a love of reading for our youngest community members. The library provides an array of business programs and services uh, for all of you and those uh, needing job search assistance. All of these business resources include information on all matters from starting a business to obtaining government contracts. And the best news, it's all available for free uh, with your Westport library card. If you don't have one, I strongly encourage you to get one. If you live in, a West, uh, in Westport, all you have to do is visit us on our website at westportlibrary.org to obtain one. In these challenging times, the library is here for you, meeting the needs of our residents and our uh, businesses in Westport. We look forward to our continued partnership with them. Matt, I'll throw it back to you. Thanks again for helping to organize this effort tonight. Thank you for your partnership. So just making sure that I'm not muted. I am not muted, so we're good. So everybody's adapting to the new norm and we're adapting here, taking a piece of technology that many of us didn't even know existed a month ago. And here we are trying to put on a live performance. And we're gonna divide it into essentially three sections, going to different retailers and then with different interludes in the middle. So to lead off with our first interactive on-site viewing of a particular business, we're gonna to go to Fleet Feet. So Fleet Feet, take it away. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Dave Wright. I'm the owner of Fleet Feet down in Westport here. We're located in Sconset Square, relatively new to the town of Westport, but the uh, community has been pretty awesome since we got here. Um, seen a lot of uh, increase in runners and um, we've been pretty busy through the services that we've been able to offer um, and we'll continue to do so until we're, we're able to reopen at least at a limited capacity. So we are doing phone orders, online orders off our website, curbside pickups. We're also doing uh, local, free local delivery, uh, usually within like a 15 to uh, 30 mile uh, limit. Uh, we went out a little bit more because there is no traffic right now. So uh, we, we're, we're going to deliver as, as far as we can and try to get you your shoes um, for either running, walking, any kind of recovery. Um, we we just are still running our virtual training programs right now. Uh, they were in person for, for a bit, but um, we went totally virtual and we are coaching anywhere from 5k all the way up to full marathon and have added walking and we're going to add a children's program later this year when, when it's safely, safe to do so. Um, but the store is open for, for all intents and purposes, except for the in-person uh, experience that you, you, can, uh, you can get back to when we finally reopen. Uh, when that does happen, be just rest assured that we will be very clean, we will be very safe, we will follow all the, uh, the, the CDC's guidelines and the town and state of Connecticut's guidelines for uh, for fitting people with shoes, and it will change. Um, but we will make sure that everybody is, is safe when they come to shop with us. So uh, seeing lots of people, again, uh, outside of this store, walking, running, continue to do so, stay active. This is all we can do while we're, uh, while we're waiting for everything to get back to normal, which could take some time. So you gotta be healthy. All right, 
Thank you very much, Dave, from Fleet Feet. So we're on our way. Now we're gonna be moving to another local business. It's Choice Pet, and take it away, Choice Pet. Hi guys, happy Wednesday. I am Danielle. I am Danielle from Choice Pet. I'm one of the district managers. I hope you're all having a great night. First, we just wanna thank you for your continued support. During times like this, it's so important to shop small and shop local, and we're so grateful for our customers. We really love you guys. Everyone's so great and understanding that every day we have new changing rules going on and we always have to change different things in the store to make it safe for you guys. Throughout this whole time, our main focus has really been making sure that everything's safe for our customers and our staff. So during this time, and, um, we have one-way aisles, um, we have curbside pickup, we have Constantly been cleaning and disinfecting everything and did so many new changes to make sure everything is safe since we are open for in-store hours. You can um, visit our website for hours and locations. We're always changing hours. Fridays now will be open till nine o'clock, which is great. Um, we also have curbside, which is what we really do recommend. We're offering 10% off until June 16th too, which is pretty sweet. So you just call up your local store, place your order. It's all contact free. We deliver right to your car so you don't have to deal with coming in the store at all if you're not comfortable. We also have, if you visit choicebet.com, you can shop online. We deliver right to your home. Our delivery is a little delayed. It's usually two days. It's going to be about three or four days for now. Um, so moving on, I want to tell you guys about the products that we have. Um, we have puzzles. Everyone's staying at home more, so we really want to make sure your pets um, are having a great time as well. We know how frustrating it can be when pets are anxious. So we have puzzles, we have a ton of outdoor toys, chuckets, Kongs. We have Suzy CBD treats for when your dog might be feeling anxious or stressed. You can also take the oils yourself as well if you're feeling anxious and stressed, as we all are. Um, so also keep checking back for social media to see our new products. We're always putting out new stuff still. We're still getting a ton of deliveries in. We're fully stocked. We're totally here for you guys. And we're so grateful that we can be here for you guys. Um, let's see. That's it. That's it. That's good. So yeah, be safe, be healthy, wash your hands, shop local, and thank you. All right. Thank you so much. That's really good. Different types of, of businesses we're going to be visiting, but here's something else. If you're on the Zoom, you can chat during this and ask questions of the different retailers, and they'll try to answer your questions. Also, if you're in Facebook Live, on front porch, you can also chat among yourselves as well. So it makes it for a more interactive process. And, you know, it, it's fun. So we got two more uh, retailers to go before we uh, go to a musical interlude. And one of them is a small shop right there, uh, downtown Main Street, uh, off of Main Street, and it is Organics. So Organics, take it away. You're up, Siobhan. Hi Matt, thank you for having me. Um, I want to say thank you everyone for all our support that they've given Organics since this all began. Um, I'm very grateful. I've been here for four years and I've had a tremendous amount of uh, support through the whole pandemic. Um, we are open for business very much online and we are also offering curbside pickup on Wednesdays and Saturdays from 11 to 2. And we are having a discount for Mother's Day on gift cards. So there's 20% off for gift cards so that you can send mom a gift from organics. Um, we do carry the best brands that are out there in clean beauty. Vintner's Daughter is one of our most popular uh, brands and I'm actually having a interview with the founder, um, April, founder of Vintner's Daughter. And um, you can see that on my um, conversations blog. I've been very active on the blog, providing a lot more content so people can um, understand the brands and meet some of the founders of the brands that I carry. We've also been um, having some takeovers on Instagram Live so people can have some um, virtual face skincare treatments, makeup application, so you can always check those out on Instagram as well. Um, we've also created a lot of gift boxes and curated um, gift sets with 15% savings so that you can send a gift to someone that you care for or for yourself. And, um, the brands, especially um, Organic Bath Company, was really in, um, stepped it up and created a hand sanitizer. It's a travel hand sanitizer, so you can just pop it in your bag and bring it with you because we all need that now and we know it's hard to find. Um, 
So I want to just say thank you again, uh, Matt, and for organizing this and everyone be safe and well and come visit me on organicsfarmtoskin.com for all your shopping online. We also have virtual uh, shopping experiences as if you want any questions answered. You can also email me and book an appointment to have a virtual con um, consultation for skincare or makeup or um, anything that you have questions about in your skin routine. So have a great evening, everyone, and be well and safe. All right, that's just nice job, nice job. All right, we have one more. Now, some businesses are closed, some are completely open. One that everybody loves is the liquor store. So we're going to Greens Farm Spirits now, and Jim, take it away. Hi guys, thank you. Thank you very much, Matthew. Uh, there we go, I can see everybody now. Sincerely appreciate the opportunity to be here with you all tonight. I'm Jim Boyer from Greens Farms Spirit Shop. We are, uh, Crowley was the original owner, had the shop for about 50 years, and uh, we are now rolling into our 14th or 15th month here, and super thankful for all the support from, uh, from everybody in the area for welcoming us with op uh, open arms and you know allowing us into the community here. So. Um, as uh, Matthew mentioned, yes, we are fortunate to have been deemed essential. Um, our business has, uh, has actually gotten a little far as the, as the weeks have gone on, but we're happy to help and, and support as much as we can. Um, you know, our store hours are eight, uh, Monday through Saturday, 10 to five on Sundays. Uh, we are We sanitize like crazy, store employees wear masks. We ask that the people that come into the shop wear masks. All right, looks like he's having a little bit of technical difficulties, but Greens Farms Liquors is on the post road. Greens Farms Spirits, excuse me, is on the post road. And they're there to take care oh, of- Did I lose you guys? Is he back? Did All I lose right. you guys? Yeah, you lost us, you lost us. So we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna move on, Jim. Um, thank you so much. Greens Farm Spirits is open and we'll take care of you for, for all your needs. Um, you have, wanna, wanna sum up real quickly, Jim, if you can? Jim? I guess not, let's just move on. All right, so we've seen four different retailers that exist in Westport that are doing what they can to survive in this new uh, normal that we're, we're experiencing. But you know, where would life be if they didn't have any music? And we have a fantastic local musician, Phil Lepresti, who also plays in, the, in, in many bands around here. And one of them is a Tom Petty project. And last year, they were the opener for the Levitt Pavilion. And sorry to say, uh, due to the, the pandemic, the Levitt Pavilion will be closed. But um, the Tom Petty project is slated to play in October at FTC. And hopefully by then, they will be able to have some music. But in the meantime, you do get some music right now. So I'm going to turn it over to Phil. Play away, my man. Thank you, Matthew. Thank you for having me. <clears throat> I'm proud to be a, uh, a member of uh, the Westport community for 20 years. And a special shout out to um, Effie's, who, Effie Salon, who I could use desperately, as well as Fake Him Design. <clears throat> so let's make some music, guys. <laughs> i 
like the girls, and I like them a lot. And if I mess up, my lips gonna have me shot. I said, hey, 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 the thing I do is bad for me. All my nasty habits just won't let me be. I got one more for you. Kind of appropriate, you know, since we're all kind of locked down right now. So let's give this one a try. If you're down and confused.
love the one you with. crying about the good times you had. There's a girl right next to you, and she's just waiting for something to do. Well, there's a rose in a fist you with everybody support business all right and let's all get through this together all right stay safe and sane thank you peace out wonderful job wonderful job phil thank you so much for donating your time to entertain us while we're going through all the different businesses that we have in town you know westport is not an island and we are surrounded by other businesses that are just outside. But as long as they're chamber members, we love them because they help support what we're doing and we help support them. So we're just going to cross the border just over to Norwalk to Ituros right now. So Ituros, take it away. Thank you, Matt. Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Adrian Ituro of Ituro Appliance. We are doing in-store appointments right now, uh, Zoom meetings, all on our iPads. Uh, you can call or text the store. We have a great new website where a salesperson can contact you, go over specs, uh, you know, anything you need. Uh, my cousin Eric Itoro has our delivery team wearing masks and gloves and, you know, using lots of Lysol before they go into any house. Uh, so whatever you need, call or text us and, you know, we're here to help you. So thank you, Matt. All right. Thank you, AJ. So if you've got something wrong with any of your appliances, give iToros a call and they'll come in and take care of it nice and safely. That's the whole goal here. So now we're gonna switch back to Westport and down to Railroad Place, where we've got a nice little store that has wonderful items and can help you redesign things. It's Eilish and Van Breams. Take it away, Eilish and Van Breams. Hi everyone, um, I'm Rhonda Alish. I am uh, one of the owners of Alish Van Breams. It's Edie Van Breams and myself, and we're local girls. We've been here, we grew up here. And um, right now you can shop us online and we have an option on our website where you can do curbside pickup rather than um, us sending it to you. So you can shop at your, your own leisure. Um, but we have a lot of things here for the home. We have lots of Mother's Day gifts. Um, we have things for dogs and kids and everybody. So we're Scandinavian. We have a Scandinavian twist, but our website, so you can shop it, is www.evbantiques.com. And we do a lot of fun stuff on Instagram. We have Instagram Live events that we do, and we also have an IGTV account. So our handle is at Alish Van Breams. And we are constantly, we're very active on Instagram. So call us, email us. Um, we're doing curbside pickup. We're also here by appointment. Um, so if you want to shop, you can shop by appointment. Um, and we're expecting, we're thinking we're going to open up June 1st. Um, and we're lucky we have several locations around Railroad Place. So our team is going to be separated um, 
amongst the different locations to the trade. We have um, three showrooms, one that we're opening up um, additionally, and then our shop here at 99 Franklin Street. So um, we'll be having masks and gloves and uh, Lysol and hand sanitizer and the whole thing. Um, and we're going to limit people into the shop. So we're gonna follow all the guidelines that are out there and make it safe for everyone. And also, of course, neurotically sanitize everything because we are all OCD cleaners here. <laughs> so anyway, thank you so much to the Chamber for allowing us to um, introduce ourselves and to say we're here for you, whatever you need. Um, and please check out the website. It's really new and um, we updated everything. We're constantly up updating with more and more project uh, product. And we're also opening up a store in Nantucket this summer. Yes, the best time to do it, but um, it's gonna be fun. And um, our general manager's over there already. He's already set everything up and we're just waiting for the green light to open probably around July 5th or 4th that weekend. So um, thank you so much. And um, thank you again to the chamber. Thank you, Matthew. You're very welcome. We, we, we love you guys. You do wonderful things. Thank so we're at the bottom of the hour. We're halfway through and we have to have a little commercial here. And we can't live by retail alone. We all have to eat. We put together a little video a couple weeks back and we're going to run it now to promote takeout restaurants. So let's go to that video right now. Hi, I'm Matthew Mann, director of the West. Westport Western Chamber of Commerce. The town is doing a good job of social distancing and staying safe at home, but we all do have to eat. And with the unprecedented number of restaurants that have closed during this crisis, we have an opportunity to help our local businesses, our friends, and also have some wonderful food. It's by doing takeout. With protocols that are set in place by the health department and state agencies, curbside pickup or delivery are reasonable and prudent alternatives to cooking yourself, especially for those who really can't cook. Calling up, ordering online, giving your credit card ahead of time allows for a seamless and socially distant transaction and handoff of the food. Takeout is a wonderful thing for our community and for yourselves. So which restaurants are open? Let's take a socially distant approach, go around town and find out which restaurants are doing takeout. We're open, Westport. Us too. So are we. Come in for some takeout. We're open, Westport. And so are we. Us too. We're here to feed you. Thank you, Westport, for your support. We're open, Westport. We open the will. We are too. We're open, Westport. We're here for you. Thank you, Westport, for all your support. We're here to feed you. Curbside pickup and delivery. We're open, Westport. That's quite a lot of them. All these restaurants are available for takeout. But what about cuisine? Let me whet your appetite for the diversity that exists in our town. Seafood. Homemade Italian food. Prepared foods. Homemade pizza, homemade pasta. We have French food. We make great Italian food. American fare. Home cooked Italian food. Asian food sushi. American fare and barbecue. The best Italian food. Seafood and American fare. The most delicious burgers and lobsters. Italian food. Asian fare. We have great Mexican food ready to be picked up. So there you go. You where they are, phone numbers, websites, how to order, just go to our website. And if you're a restaurant that's not on the list, just let us know, we'll be happy to put you on. So what do you say, Westport? Is it time for takeout? I just did. From our family to yours, we hope you stay safe. All right, guys. So that was a little commercial interruption. And back to our regularly scheduled show. So now we're going to go to... ASF, ASF, take it away. How's it going, everyone? My name is Tyler from ASF Sports and Outdoors. Um, first off, I just want to say I hope everyone's staying uh, safe and healthy during these challenging times. Um, for us, we're doing contactless, uh, you know, pickup and delivery. Um, so anyone who needs something uh, curbside, we'll bring it out to you. Uh, if you need something delivered local, we'll bring it to you. Um, and if you're a little farther away, we'll uh, ship it out to you. 
Um, so here at ASF, we think it's very important to stay active, um, good for the mental and physical health. Um, so to do that, you know, we got a store full of shoes, good running shoes, whether you're into Nike or you're into, uh, you know, the Brooks Asics of the world. Um, as far as apparel goes, um, got some good yoga gear for uh, doing in-home yoga workouts. Uh, if you're going out hiking, got some good uh, North Face Patagonia. So I got a lot of good stuff there. Um, with golf courses being some of the only things open, um, got a really good golf collection right now. Um, so you can, you know, give us a call. We can send you pictures, uh, you know, help you out in that sense. Um, another thing we've been selling a lot of is all of the backyard equipment, um, soccer goals, lacrosse goals, um, things of that nature, rebounders, um, and we're offering uh, delivery and build service. So we'll come to your house, we'll build it, you know, you don't have to do anything. Um, and I think that's going to do it. Uh, so I just want to say uh, thank you to all of our loyal customers, and we hope to see you in the store very soon. Have a good night. All right, thank you, ASF. So sometimes we have larger stores, sometimes we have small ones. Now we're gonna to go to a small one that's very specific. We're gonna to go to Westport Yarns. Westport Yarns, take it away. You're muted, guys. Hi, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I'm Beth Schaefer and I'm the owner of Westport Yarns. And I have asked Julie, who works with me here in the store, who is also an artist, a marathon runner, and an expert knitter to take us through how we're handling some of these very difficult times. Take it away, Julie. <laughs> well, thanks, Beth, for that incredibly nice in intro. And hello to everyone out there from Westport Yarns. Uh, thank you for giving me the opportunity to put on some makeup uh, and look nice for you. Um, but whether I'm actually wearing pants, you know, that's anyone's guess. So we here at the store have known for a long time what the world is just figuring out, which is that knitting is a great way of reducing stress, being creative, and keeping your mind and hands away from the refrigerator. So in the times of, and also in the times of quarantine, knitting needles are a great in, a way to enhance social distancing because they're very pointy. Uh, we are located at 582 Post Road East. Um, that's right across from Fresh Market and Terrain. We have a full range of yarns and fun and necessary accessories for any level of knitter and crocheter. We can help you find projects. We can match yarn to projects. Um, we can basically provide moral support and a lot of encouragement. We are not currently open to foot traffic, so it's hard to do any hands-on help but you can visit our website, the websportyarns.com, uh, and you can call us over the phone. Orders can be placed through the website. You can call in your orders. We can ship your orders to your house. We can put them curbside. We can bring them to your car, or if you're not comfortable with that, we have a little table outside where we can just leave it and you can come grab it. Uh, we are, our quarantine times are Tuesday through Thursday, 11 to 3, and someone will always be in the store to answer your calls at that time. But we are looking forward to having everyone back in the store. We're keeping everything very sanitized, very clean, and waiting for every, the foot traffic to come. So for Mother's Day, we know that's coming up, and we know there are lots of mothers out there who knit or who would like to knit. We've got lots of things to choose from. We've put together some kits. Uh, we have individual gifts as well from anyone who is a beginner knitter, just wants to learn how to knit, or someone who's run through their yarn stash because um, they've just been knitting everything from cat sweaters to car cozies. Um, if everything else fails, you can always get a gift certificate. It can be done online, um, or you can pick it up and we'll put it in a nice little bag. So for now, before you guys are allowed in our store, which we hope is going to be soon, just give us a call or visit us at westportyarns.com. Uh, we really can't wait for everyone to come in. Uh, but until that time, happy knitting. Thank you very much. All right, thank you so much. Wonderful store, very colorful too. I mean, all the different colors and all the different yarn can make wonderful things. I use that word a lot, wonderful. I listened to the video. I used it too many times. So I'm going to have to work on that. So 
what's unique about our community? It's what people cook. And one of our great chefs in town has decided to give us a demonstration. And we appreciate Matt Storch for taking the time out. Yeah. Matt, what you got cooking? Hi, guys. How are you? Coming to you from the secret super duper recipe development center here, <laughs> or otherwise known as home. Uh, I'm Matt Storch from Match Burger Lobster and Match in Norwalk. And uh, today, oysters. Uh, the probably the second largest uh, farmed item in Connecticut. Uh, my partners at Matchburger Lobster uh, are the uh, Blooms. The Blooms have a uh, Norwalk oyster farm, uh, also in Mystic as well, and all the way up the coast. And we have some beautiful oysters from them. So if my lovely camera woman will uh, zoom down, we have some beautifully shucked Cops Island oysters from Norm and Jimmy Bloom. These were shucked today. and uh, we're doing something new, which is sort of, we had to pivot and come up with an idea of how to put oysters um, on your table, not in a restaurant. So we have, uh, we developed uh, classic recipes, Cops Casino and Cops Rockefeller. So we um, basically did a old fashioned Rockefeller style oyster with Parmesan cheese and spinach, a little bit of breadcrumb, we put it on a shucked oyster and we instantly froze it. So the juice is still in the oyster from being freshly shucked and we could throw it right into the oven or on the grill. And then uh, we also did the casino version, which is my favorite. I love clams casino. So instead of doing it with a clam, we did it with an oyster. Uh, so what I'm going to show you now is sort of how to assemble it if you don't want to buy uh, the product that we're selling everywhere, um, which is really easy. So shuck your oysters. We have a demo on uh, the Cops Island site. A little bit of uh, butter, just a touch. Just kidding. You can you can make a bunch of this and um, and save it uh, for another day uh, in the fridge. A little bit of garlic powder, a little bit of dried oregano, a little bit of chili flake right into the butter. Some cracked black pepper, and then some lime juice, and then bacon if you got it or breadcrumb. Okay, and you mash it up. That's getting a little cold because it's chilly out here, and it becomes something like that. All right. And what you do is you take this mix, which has the butter, the breadcrumb, and the chili flake, and you put it right on top of the oyster or the clam, whatever you want to do. All right. And then this natural sort of oven dish that you have here called the oyster shell. All right. Goes right into the oven. You can put it on a tray with a little tin foil so the oysters don't move and the juice stays in the oyster. All right. And then you can take that, you either put that right into the oven or you put it on the grill. Like I have these beauties going. So these were the ones that, were, that we did before. They've been on the grill for about 10 minutes, closed, and it gets nice and caramelized around the outside like a classic roasted oyster would. And, uh, you know, it's like those um, sexy New Orleans oysters that are flame broiled on the outside that have that nice warm, they're, they're cooked, they're not raw, but they still have that juicy, um, flavor in the bottom which is fantastic all right so to serve an oyster just so you know so it doesn't move around once it's done oyster shells are really hot okay on um, when they come out of the oven or on the grill so I don't recommend touching them it's not like a raw oyster that you can slurp uh, these literally carry so much heat it's almost like an oven and if you see in there see the little bubbles sorry if I'm making you hungry by the way um, the little bubbles underneath beautiful all right so right on the salt if you have coarser salt, um, you know, that works as well. So that doesn't happen. So you get a salty oyster. I'm a rookie. That's not fair. And there you go, all those juices. Beautiful. Cops Island oysters. These are the casino, and these are the Cops rocks. And uh, again, if you don't want to shuck an oyster at home and eat it raw, this is another alternative to, uh, to make it happen. We're selling the uh, Cops Casinos and Cops Rocks uh, at Match Burger Lobster and Match. Order online, curbside pickup. Mother's Day is coming up, order early. And uh, we'll see you around town. Thanks everybody. See you soon. All right. Hey, thank you so much. I have to say, if we weren't socially isolated, you'd be having a guest right now. It'd be me. Nice job, looks delicious, and I'm hungry now. All right, guys, so we're in the home stretch. We've got 
four more retailers to go to as we, as we bop around town and see what's going on and how all of our retailers are adapting to the new normal. So our next guest is a new person in town or a new business in town. They, they opened up pretty recently and then boom, we had this happen. It's Interstate Lumber. So Ben, Interstate, take it away. Hi everyone, my name is Ben Kahn. I'm the marketing manager at Interstate Lakeland Lumber. Uh, we're a family owned business. Uh, I'm in the fourth generation of ownership. We've been serving Fairfield County since 1922 and just opened up a few months ago in Westport. Um, uh, we're a full service building material supplier and lumber yard, uh, windows, doors, uh, decking, siding. So really, if you've been in your house for a while and are seeing some things you want to improve on, uh, this is the great, this is, we're pretty much the place to get all your home building supplies and needs. Uh, and even during this, we're still growing and expanding and trying new things. Uh, we're introducing a new product line exclusively in our Westport location, and that's split rail fencing. So that's a new kind of do-it-yourself home improvement product, uh, fencing product that we have exclusively at Westport. Uh, right now, uh, our first priority though, with everything going on, is safety, safety, safety. All of our workers at all of our locations uh, have been given uh, gloves and masks. Uh, we're keeping up to date, making sure that everything's safe because uh, our Westport location is still open Monday through Friday. And our location in Stamford is also open on Saturdays from eight to noon. Uh, we are currently doing only delivery and curbside pickup. Uh, so please call ahead at 203-226-3321 or uh, contact us through our website at interstatelumber.com. Uh, uh, you know, looking ahead into the future now, uh, we're hoping to uh, things will keep uh, going in a positive direction. And hopefully we can get people in the, in the yards and uh, visiting soon. Uh, thank you and take care. All right. Thank you, Interstate Lumber. They were going to be a sponsor of the Dog Festival now being postponed to October. They were going to build a doghouse and we were going to raffle it off. So hopefully this will be pulled off sometime in October, the Dog Festival, and we thank Interstate Lumber for being a sponsor of that event. So now we're gonna go to intuitive designs. We're going inside again and uh, working with people who design how your house should look. So intuitive designs, here we go. Here we go. Hi everybody, Bridget Slynn, the owner of Intuitive Interiors. I am a home organizer and stylist specializing in decluttering, organizing, and designing the home. Um, I am particularly sensitive to the energy of home. And so how your home feels is very, very important when I go in and declutter. I'm all about clearing out the junk clearing out the junky energy and really bringing in um, flow and harmony to your space through organizing and design. Um, I'm normally in people's spaces, obviously, uh, in people's homes um, with my work, but I've had to bring it online. And that's been a fun and interesting journey in the last six weeks. Um, but I, um, my clients and I, we work together, normal appointments through Zoom. So I am available to help all of my clients to declutter, organize, and style. Um, I guide you through it step by step. And um, I'm always there to answer the questions and to guide you through just like I'm there in your home with you, but virtually. <laughs> so um, I am reachable through my website, uh, BridgetFlynn.com. And if anybody is, as you, we've been knocking around our homes and we've been, you know, like how does your home feel and, and, and looking at the messes and just being, feeling really unable to, to, to stand the mess anymore. Some of us have been going in and organizing ourselves, uh, but creating those lasting systems and getting down to like the real patterns of why the mess occurs and how it occurs, um, I help you to find those solutions. So that is it. Thank you so much for, uh, for being here with us tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's intuitive interiors, not designs, I apologize, intuitive interiors and interiors is what she works with <laughs> right so with this pandemic people are still getting married but their parties aren't happening but the parties are being postponed to the future but what does every bride need a, a dress a wonderful bridesmaid dress so we're going to go to bella's bridesmaids bella's bridesmaids take it away 
Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Maggie. I'm the owner of Bella Bridesmaids. Uh, we're located at 19 Post Road West. Um, although we miss seeing everyone in our store, we still believe our brides and our bridesmaids, mothers of, and even guests of weddings still deserve an experience of shopping with us. With that being said, we are now offering virtual appointments. So let me tell you a little bit about how it works. First, contact us via email or phone so that we can chat through your vision of colors, styles, and inspirations. Next, we'll send you a link to set up your virtual appointment with one of our very knowledgeable consultants. During your appointment, you'll be able to view our collections we have in our showroom. We'll show you fabrics, styles, and colors, just as if you were in the store with us. After narrowing down your selection, we'll upload your favorites to your virtual showroom, which you can share with anyone. If you have a fall 2020 wedding, we are offering dress borrow boxes as well. You will be able to try on up to three dresses at home before deciding to buy. Dress borrow boxes can be scheduled for free curbside pickup, or we can also deliver to your house. It is super fun and easy to do from the comfort of your own home. Once your dream look is achieved, you'll be able to place and track orders right through your virtual showroom we created for you. So ditch the yoga pants, FaceTime your best buds, and have some fun dressing up. We can't wait to help you find your perfect bridesmaids dress. Thank you. All right, thank you, Bella's Bridesmaids. Tough times out there where people aren't being able to come and buy. So we're looking for ways to bring people to the store. If it doesn't, if it's not in person, it can be virtually and still get the products that you want. Well, we're up to our last person or our last store, and that is Salon Paul Michael. So if your hair ain't great, your skin needs a little work here and there, Ernie's going to take care of you. Salon Paul Michael, let's hear from you. Thank you, Matt. Your energy is contagious. It's great. Thank you so much. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Salon Paul Michael. Uh, when the big quarantine hit on March 18th, we decided to go with uh, beauty on the go. Uh, we provide, much as restaurants do, uh, you call, order your products with professional advice that you won't get in the grocery store, you won't get in the pharmacy, and uh, we match you to exactly what you need with professional products such as Wella, Sebastian, Nioxin, Milbon, Arnco, and numerous others. Uh, we also have uh, color solutions for hair color. Uh, there's a brush on, root touch up for around the face and down the part. There's also a spray on that goes on very easily. And we have a great, great product that's been flying out the door. It's a semi-permanent color, it lasts 10 shampoos, and it blends in up to 30% of the gray and it really refreshes the hair color. That, you've been lacking for the past seven or eight weeks. Uh, so that's what we've been doing. Uh, you can pay online, I mean, not pay it over the phone and come by and pick it up. We do social distancing, we'll put it in your trunk, we'll leave it outside for you. Uh, we've had all kinds of requests and you get it. We, we, we do whatever you need. Uh, we're looking to open up again on May 20th. We're waiting for the governor's guidelines. Uh, we're gonna do social distancing and masks, of course. So the sanitation will be over the top and we're all ready to do whatever the health department needs. Uh, looking forward to seeing everybody. Thank you. All right, well, thank you, Ernie. I mean, look, I need a haircut, that's for sure. So I might be seeing you uh, sometime after the opening. So that's basically what we've uh, got to present to you tonight. But the Chamber of Commerce does not rest. We're always looking for new things to do. And if you know that we do Supper in Seoul, the Dinner and Concert Series, but you now can't go out to the restaurants, but what can you do that's different? So instead of supper and soul, we're now creating stay home and soul. Take out dinner and concert series. And we're gonna be doing this on Friday, May 15th. So again, similar concept for a single price, you get to have a meal, but instead of going to the restaurant, it will be curbside pickup and you'll come home and you will see a show specifically streamed for you to Westport by David Wax Museum. And if you remember them, we had them last year at Supper and Soul, and by rave reviews, we brought them back. So, Supper and Soul is now Stay Home and Soul Take Out and Dinner Concert Series. And if you could pin it back to me, please. Thank you. So that's really our show, guys. So next Friday night is Stay Home and Soul. And if we can figure out how to do another one of these, 
we will. I think we learned a lot. I think we took the technology that we had and we, we brought it to you. So thank you so much for coming. Thank you to Front Porch. Thank you to the town of Westport. Thank you to the Westport Library. And thank you all you retailers and everybody who stuck in and checked out our one hour show. And we are actually a little ahead of schedule, which is pretty good. So thank you, everybody. Stay safe, be well. And as First Selectman Mark Beach says all the time, you're not stuck at home, you're safe at home. We'll see you soon. Thank you very much, guys. Yep, we're looking for the right uh, end piece. It's coming. All right, thank you very much, guys. Thanks, Matt. It was awesome. Good. Awesome, Matt. That was really, really great. Good. Carrie, yeah. I think we need to uh, just kill it, Carrie. Yes. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Take care, guys. Bye.